What's up everybody, it's Parker with BI Elite. I'm excited to bring you part four of the Power BI Admin View series. It has been quite a while since I released part three, but I wanted to round out this series with a quick video on how to visualize the data that we've already brought into our Power BI model. If you're not familiar with this Power BI Admin View series, I definitely recommend that you check out parts one, two, and three. The most important techniques on how to pull data and how to get a refreshable access token come in those parts. And in this part, we're just gonna quickly visualize the data that we've already brought in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at what I've put on the report canvas and talk about other things that you can do with this Power BI admin data. So quickly, I'm gonna take you to the data view just to give you a refresher of what we have. So let me go ahead and look at our fields here. So if we take a look at all of our tables here, we can see that our starting point is our workspaces. So we have all of our workspaces here. We have our users. So the users that make up those workspaces. Let me go ahead and unfilter. Uh, so these are all of our users and how they relate to those workspaces via group ID. We have all of the reports in those workspaces. We have our data sets in those workspaces, our data flows, our dashboards. And then finally, in that last video in part three, we learned how to grab our user activity data. So the data pertaining to each action that a user takes on a workspace or a report or a data set. So we see, for example, someone has viewed a report, someone has refreshed a data set. We have all of that information. So with that, let's go back to the report canvas and I'll show you what I've put down quickly onto this page. So in card form, I'm showing that I have 21 workspaces. That's just a count of my workspace ID. I have 112 reports across those 21 workspaces. I have five users within my organization. That is simply my users table, just getting a uh, distinct count of my users. Let me go ahead and take you there. My users, just getting a distinct count of this email address will give me the number of users in my organization. And then finally, I have 48 activities within my tenant over the last 10 days. So I am currently pulling the last 10 days of activity data. So over the last 10 days, there have been 48 different actions within my tenant. Similarly, I have added filters for workspace. So the user can come in here and say, hey, I just wanna look at a certain workspace. They can filter down the data to see that. Similarly, if they wanna filter down via report, they can. They can also filter for user and they can also filter for action in case they just wanna see, uh, show me all the time someone has refreshed a data set. We can now see all of those refresh data set actions. So I'm gonna get rid of that. To get an idea of some visualizations that you can use in your Power BI admin view, I've thrown together these four visualizations. This first one is a network graph. This is really cool because each node is a workspace and they're connected via the users that are active within that workspace. For example, these four workspaces, YouTube, Export Demo, and DA100 course, and this fourth one are all connected by a single user that has been active within that workspace. If I were to zoom in here, let me go ahead and zoom in, we can see that those four are connected by Parker at BIElite.com. So Parker at BIElite.com has been uh, performing activities within those four workspaces. So let me go ahead and zoom out. And we see one node off on its own here, Contests. And if we zoom in on that one, we can see that Contests has activities from contests at BIElite.com, so a different user. And these nodes are sized by how many activities have been performed in them. For example, I'm most active in my YouTube workspace, so YouTube has 18 different activities. I can even click on my YouTube workspace and see all of those activities on my latest activities table here. This is ordered based on my activity time, so we can see that yesterday I refreshed a data set, yesterday I viewed a report, um, and we can know it's me based on this user email. And we see some activities on 11.5 and 11.3 as well. Similarly, if I go to my DA100 course node, I can see all the activities for that workspace as well. Besides visualizing the activities across my tenant, I also wanted to use this Power BI admin view report as a jumping off point into powerbi.com. So it will be able to navigate me to my workspaces or reports because we have that information within our data. So I have this matrix here. Uh, the first level is my workspaces and you can also drill down into the individual reports. So I have these two values here, workspace URL and report URL. So the workspace URL will navigate us to that YouTube workspace while the report URL will navigate us to whichever report row we're looking at. So for example, let's go ahead and click on this YouTube URL. We can see that's gonna take me to my YouTube workspace. And for a report URL, let's go ahead and click on that one. And I will be visualizing or viewing my channel health report. So that's working as expected. 
Let me go ahead and show you how I created those measures. So here's the code for that workspace URL. In order to get here, actually, if we just navigate to a single workspace, we will see what the URL looks like. So I took everything up to list. So let me go ahead and highlight that. So this is all we need to navigate here. So we have app.powerbi.com slash groups slash, and this is the workspace ID. I don't think the list dashboards is necessary. So in order to navigate us dynamically here, we just need to copy up until groups, and then we can dynamically throw in our workspace URL. So if we come back to the code, you can see that's what I've done. Just taking that first part up till groups, and then adding and, and selected value workspaces group ID. And also very important, you need to make sure that this is all in lowercase because the data is bringing back this workspace ID in uppercase, but we need it to be lowercase in order for the URL to work properly. So with that, we have our workspace URL. And then similarly, let's go to report URL. Looks very similar. So same thing up until group ID. And then we have and, we have slash reports slash and max reports report ID. I use max because I have a couple of reports with the same report ID, not sure what's going on there, but this helps me get to a single URL per report. So with that, those are our two URLs and that allows us to navigate effectively from this Power BI report. So every time a new workspace is created or a new report is created, we will automatically have it within our little matrix here. And then finally, just to fill up some space, I threw in activities by date as well. Remembering we're only looking at the past like 10 days of activity or so, it's really not much here, but you can pull back more data in order to make it a more meaningful visualization. I'm sure there are a ton more things that you can do with this data. I'm just really scratching the surface here. If you followed along to this point and you have the data already loaded for your organization, I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, I think you can do a lot of cool things with this Power BI admin data. So with that, if you like the video, if you like the playlist, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our training over at training.bielite.com. We have some awesome courses on Power BI DAX and Alteryx at the moment. Hope to see you there.